try out using the mouse to go back and forth of the timeline of a pre-recorded video and in this one we try to move on with the live video so this is a new challenge that how can you go back in time of the live video so before we start we create our new project folder we name it as mouse move 002 and we do not need to create the movies folder because we are using the video device in okay let's tidy up the screen first so the major top we're going to use will be the video device in that gives you the live video image and then you can of course flip it horizontally changing the flip x now the challenge will be how can we store a number of images such that it can be retrieved effectively so we use the technique we have done in this slit scan exercise we make use of the texture 3D as the way to keep a number of images. So we try to go for a big number such as for example cache size of 100. Then we are keeping 100 video frames in the GPU storage and then we'll use the time machine that's the one we have used in this slit scan exercise connect it here and then the second input we need to put in the in the slit scan we use a RAM but for this one we can just make use a constant that is a solid color and for this solid color for consistency i also change it to the custom resolution 1280 and then 720 and connect it to the second input and then go through to the output window you may remember that this solid color actually control which frame you're going to retrieve the video the white actually will retrieve the latest one and if you try you can change it to a darker color so the darker color actually will be a delay of a moment depending on how dark your color is and we can also further customize it in here that if we choose the white one that's the current one number zero and then the black one if we have say how many frames over here so we have 100 and then minus 99 will be the last one in the storage that we have okay and the next step is if we would like to do it interactively so we might need to change this color by using our mouse that chop with the mouse in and then we do a mess as well to convert the range from minus 1 to 1 back to 0 to 1 for the TX value and as a good practice I always use a node to contain the number and then we try to put the TX into the RGB value so if I put the same TX to the RGB at the same time it will just give you a grayscale image 
with number controlling the brightness. So this is for Arrow. And then I drag again release export chop for green and drag export chop for blue. So now we have a grayscale. You can more or less have a look of the behavior. So if I put the mouse towards the right hand side, the image will be pretty current. And if I put it in the left hand side, this will be a little bit delayed. But if I move it around somehow like this, even though I do not move immediately, and because of the previous frame, so that create this kind of funny effect that I can use my mouse to change my appearance even though I do not move much. So this is the basic idea of this particular project. And if you would like to see the full screen, so you can also change the perform window to full screen and turn off the border. And then go back to here. Now the full screen will be something like this. So you use your mouse to move around your image. So that's it.